Hey guys, it's Brandon Creator, Happily Dressed, a fashion blog dedicated to self-acceptance, self-confidence, and self-sufficiency, and welcome back to the channel. A few things have changed. I think one's pretty obvious, my hair color. Secondly, we are in my room. Welcome. This is a very intimate place to have you guys. I mean, I say that now, but I also vlogged my whole freshman and sophomore experience in college, so. But instead of explaining where I've been, I thought, why not make a sewing video for you guys? That's what you've subscribed for in my absence, right? To keep it short and sweet, I'm going to New Orleans in like the next week or so for my birthday, and I don't have any clothes. 2021, I've kind of like ejected my fashion sense from 2020 and prior. I did go to Goodwill. I found this and some other stuff, but that'll come later. I found this. What is that, you may ask? This is a navy blue bandana bed sheet, believe it or not. 65% cotton, 35% polyester. Just in case you're wondering if you can do this, if you like find a bed sheet and you're like, oh, I wonder what his was made out of. There you go. But I thought this was so cool and definitely like on trend with like what's popping. And I thought, why not make some shorts for my trip? Super simple, maybe like some um, inseam pockets on the side and one little back pocket, choose a cheek. But for my first video back, I thought, Let's just keep it simple. Let's make some shorts. So I started off by tracing some shorts I already had. These are some yellow swim trunks that I thrifted. They are big enough so that way when I put the elastic in the waistband, they'll like scrunch in. So I basically just did a rough copy of that. I will say I wish I wouldn't have used this curved ruler because I extended that waistband up by two inches so that way I could just fold it down as the waistband instead of attaching another waistband. But because it was curved, it turned out to be very, very small. And you'll see that, well, it wasn't extremely small, but you'll kind of see that when I tried them on. Then I traced the front curve of that as well, and then I cut them out. So here is the front pattern, and then here's the back. Next, oh, I also cut out a little back pocket as well. And I went ahead and surged my fronts and backs together, right sides facing. So I took the backs, surged them together. And you could sew this, by the way, too. I was just using my serger to make it a little faster. And then I surged my fronts, right sides facing together. After that, I went ahead and placed the back pocket. I folded that down just to see where the waistband would naturally be. So that way my pocket wasn't too low or too high. Once I found the right place, I just pinned it in place and then sewed it down. Nice, these are my pockets. And honestly, I was loving the shape at first, but I wish I would have shaped them just a little differently because they go in a little deeper than I want them to. But I went ahead and sewed them to the fronts and the backs, right sides facing on their respective sides, making sure that they were at the same place. And after that, I top stitched them in place as well. when you're done, it should look something like this, like a big old elephant ear or something. But once I did that, I went ahead and put the front and the back right sides facing and sewed that down. So I'm gonna use my serger, but you could easily just sew this and you'll just sew into the pocket and down so that way the pocket is in the inseam of the pant. Now here's the try on. So you can see too, like it slims up and it basically like fits my waist, which isn't ideal for an elastic waistband because it's already pretty much to my waist. So it won't scrunch in as much as I wanted it to. I found like a little fix around it, but the pair of shorts I made next, I made sure to keep it as wide as possible. Now I'm sewing down the tunnel for the elastic. I didn't show me putting the elastic through because I, didn't, I couldn't find my safety pin and I was struggling, but here they are nice and finished. Now all I have to do is hem the bottom. And the elastic waistband didn't turn out that badly, um, but I definitely wish there was a little bit more scrunch to it. So I went ahead and ironed down my seam allowance for the hem so that way it stays straight, sewed that down, and then I was finito. These are the finished pair. Sorry, I wish I had like a better angle to show you, but I'm super excited with how they turned out. Love the inseam pockets and the back pocket. But yeah, that's my pants all complete. And there you have it, that's me making these shorts. I love them. It's crazy because um, this wasn't that, that great of a tutorial. I, I know that when I was filming it. And <laughs> I actually probably will do these a second time only because when I curved, 
that pattern, I should have just kept it straight to give me more to pull in when I use my elastic. But yeah, I got actual work to do. That's what's in this little cardboard box. I sew up leather for an amazing woman. But I will catch you guys in my next video. See you guys later.